Hello everyone, today I'm going to assemble a storage shelf from Ikea. It's called the Ex Expedit 101.030.88. Um, it's a fairly hefty shelf. What, what you do notice here is it's 81 pounds, okay? So this is no light little piece of furniture from Ikea. This thing's heavy. So I'm going to assemble it for you on video. Um, you know, probably fast forward the tedious parts and uh, go from there. The parts you will need comes with a little wrench, I think. It's a good thing. And there's the blown up assembly part. Step two. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty well the same process over and over again. and how to mount. Obviously it's a floor standing model. And it does have a wall anchor if you're going to put it up against the wall. If you bought the casters, that's how you put the casters on. I did not. There's all the hardware that goes along with it. As you can see, there's a little Allen wrench here. I'll take it out first. There's the Allen wrench to put it together with. I'm going to use my electric drill on that instead of this. If you don't have it, well, I guess you're going to have to use the little wrench, but I'm just going to use these bits. Looks like that. So it's a number four. Use my cordless power drill. So we're going to use that large piece right there. That's the top and the bottom. And the bases are, are the big thick pieces like this. Make sure you put the, the holes on the right side and uh, screw it in. These are the two screws I'm going to use. Most of them are the same size. OK, 
Okay, next we put these wooden dowels for them into one of these shelf pieces. As you can see, it's got four holes. Uh, one, two, three, four. I'm going to use a little rubber mallet on this. Okay, so I'm using a little rubber mallet. You could use just use hand force, but just easier if you use that. Another four on the edge of this, of these dowlings or dowels. As you can see. Get my little tap.
All right, one thing to note on the large pieces, there is a double hole on this, and according to their instructions, uh, double check. Yes, according to their instructions, these holes have to match up with the other two holes on the actual board itself. So on mine, they're to the floor, so I'm going to put the two holes towards the floor. Make sure you do that. As you can see, two holes on the bottom, two holes on the bottom. Next, screw the bottom on. Nothing special about it. Two holes towards it. Down the lean there. Okay. Next thing you'll notice is I got six screws left over. Well, you have two on the bottom and two that go to the, I'm sorry, four that go on the bottom and two that go on the top cover. So there it is fully assembled. Um, they come with little feet if you want to put them on. Uh, you can put four on the bottom if you're going to stand it up uh, on the base here. Or if you're lying it down like I am, you can put eight on the uh, uh, that base piece itself. Okay, what you have left is a wall anchor, which shows you how to do it right there. Um, let me see what else is here. Okay, yeah, so you have the wall anchor. They give you two actually, which is really nice. A wall anchor cover. And this is the fastener and screw for that. Uh, I may show you that on video how to put that on later. All right, so there you go. Your fully assembled unit. Very nice. And the last thing I'm going to show you on this is the, um, probably the wall mount. That would be the next thing. But this one's not going up that way. So I'll uh, show you the wall mount in a separate unit. Uh, as you can see, let me give you a zoom in there. There's those two little holes. So they would probably go towards the back of your unit. You wouldn't want them showing up in front, and that's it. That's where your that's where your wall uh, mount would go. Your what do they call it? They don't even call that anymore. <laughs> it's a part number eleven five seven five three.
wall anchor, that's what I'm going to call it. 